So with really low ovarian reserve, um, very few eggs left, uh, and eggs that are acting like they're 44-year-olds instead of 36-year-olds, uh, what are you going to do? So uh, this is an amazing couple. I mean, they get the credit because they went through multiple mini IVF cycles to store embryos. Maybe uh, tell them a little bit about that, and I'll explain why mini IVF was the only way to be successful. With you. Sure. So one of the things that I loved about Dr. Silber um, was his methodology. His methodology was more, especially for somebody in my situation, was instead of blasting my body with a gazillion pounds of drugs and medicine, was to use the most minimum amount we could use and try to get the best response, which means basically um, just get a couple healthy eggs instead of trying to get 30 and still try to end up with the same result as somebody who would have gone through a full IVF cycle. So um, we started, we went through eight altogether, eight IVF retrievals. Our hope was to get two to four eggs each retrieval. Um, and we, uh, we were hopefully, hopefully trying to just go through a couple of retrievals, but I had a pretty low response to the medicine. So She was um, a poor responder. Yes, I was a poor responder. Well, My ovaries were not would have normally been canceled in a regular yes. IVF cycle. Yeah, like I said, most doctors would, especially doctors who are all about the statistics um, of their clinic, would have ran from me because it was not in their favor to treat me. Um, but Dr. Silver saw the possibility and never once told us anything but this being a possibility for us. So um, maybe I was naively hopeful, but it worked to our advantage. Fantastic. Our goal was, yeah, our goal was 10, yeah. to, to retrieve 10 eggs. And um, there were several where we had one or zero. And so it was quite frustrating to, uh, to sit on the sidelines and, uh, and wait for that to happen. Yeah. But, uh, um, you know, just we kept at it, and uh, with, with uh, Dr. Silver's help, we uh, we hit our goal. And about uh, two two and a half years later, we we finally got the reserve that we wanted, and, uh, and we, were, we were blessed to to be able to transfer them. But that was the glory as well with Dr. Silver. If we did not get the result that we were anticipating, he immediately changed the protocol, and we tried it a different way. And out of all eight IVF retrievals, we only duplicated one retrieval yeah, process the same. Yep. So. Um, and that was the, the retrieval that we actually ended up with our child. So it really, it worked out really well. So the whole idea here uh, is that there are many uh, couples where they're advised just to not do anything uh, because they're worried about statistical reporting of success rates. And uh, if there's any chance of getting pregnant with their own eggs, uh, most couples would prefer to do that. Uh, and this minimal simulation approach allowed us to get the best quality of, of eggs. So um, I, she was really a, a poor responder, but it didn't matter because if we had stimulated her with huge doses of drugs, we wouldn't have gotten any more eggs, but they wouldn't have been any good.